Hey, what's up, people? I'm IGP, and welcome to Signal Simulator. Now, as unappealing as that name sounds, this game is actually quite interesting. This game is inspired by SETI, which is the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. In the game, we're going to be operating these giant dishes, and we're going to be trying our best to detect and decode extraterrestrial signals that may be springing by our planet at any given time, all while having to maintain the entire research complex. And I don't really have any particular stance on whether I believe or don't believe that aliens or extraterrestrial life exists. I think the idea is plausible, I am more than able to entertain the idea. In fact, I believe that the subject of aliens, UFOs, extraterrestrial signals from outer space are all inherently entertaining. Whether it frightens you, excites you, fills you with awe, there is always something intriguing about coming into contact with any form of life outside of our planet. Anyway, enough yapping, I'm gonna jump into the signal simulator. If you guys want to see some more on the channel, be sure to let me know in the comment section below, and I'll be happy to do so. Anyway, let's jump in. Oh, goodness. Hello? <laughs> There's a steady rumble in the background, and I don't like that. So I do know that this is the control center. This is where I'm going to operate pretty much everything when a signal becomes available. But we're just waiting right now for a signal to even appear in the cosmos that we can even try to detect and coordinate. So here we have system efficiency. I have no idea why. I mean, I know why the screen is doing that, but I don't know why that was added to the game. In any case, it hurts my eyes. I hope it doesn't hurt yours, but system efficiency is at 100%. Charge efficiency is at 79.45. Recharge rate is 0.0031. Okay, so I, I do know that power is very important, and I believe that there are giant... You probably can't see them from here. Uh, this is not the exit. What is this? Open the server terminal. Connection with main server established. Uh, what do I type? Uh, help? Oh, there we go. Uh, exit, diagnostics, reboot all. To reboot all the servers. Okay. Signal check. Check for available signal and take... Takes the average coordinates. Clear the terminal. Exit to exit the terminal. Okay, so that's, uh... We're probably gonna have to operate from that at some point. That's pretty cool. Ooh. Whoa. What the hell is that? Yo, that thing is huge. What on earth could that possibly be? I mean, that doesn't look like Earth, but even if that's like a moon or something, that is freaking huge, whatever the hell that is. Ethernet status. Oh, look, we have our IP address just listed here. Whoa. I've broken down a few programs before. I know what that looks like. Aha! Pictures. UFOs at defense sites told in CIA documents that jet fighter was destroyed over Cuba. Oh. Signals available. Okay, let's go. Uh, try to detect the signal frequency. Use the detector under the information monitor. Signal available, coordinates detected. I guess we can, aha. Okay, increase the frequency. How high does it need to go? Doesn't say. I guess I have to search for it. Oh, there we go. What? Oh, coordinate detection. Azimuth and elevation. Now you know how to find a signal frequency. The coordinate detection system will calculate the signal coordinates. Keep in mind that the system is not very accurate. Uh, it is located right of the information monitor. Elevation controls vertical rotation of the antenna. Azimuth the horizontal rotation. Try with elevation 33.4 and azimuth 18.1. Okay. Okay, azimuth is now active. I'm changing the coordinates. Oh, I can do it by... Higher degrees. Okay, it says try 18, and it's 18.1. Okay. There we go. Okay. This makes sense. Up uh, by one degree, and then by four. And then start rotation. <gasps> They're moving. X, my God, that's slow. <laughs> yeah, it's slowly in decreasing down to 18, so that's going to be a while. Okay, cool. I'm kind of confused, because what is this? This is the average between the two. Is it like a radius or something? Like it detects the signal, and it could be anywhere within a certain radius of the detection? Ah, 10.54. By the way, that's the time local to my computer. That's not actually the time in game. Clearly, I mean, depending on where we are, it shouldn't be nighttime. Ah, uh, 10.54. But, <laughs> I know I'm old and I should be in bed. <laughs> Don't worry. <gasps> What? 
in the hell am I listening to right now? Hot Neptune. What? All right, signal available detected. Signal source is planets. Planet type is hot Neptune. Signal type is radio wave emission. Waiting for data to download. Oh, okay. Data size is 33, 336 megabytes. We have a very slow download speed. What the hell? Where's the Fios? Top secret. Ooh, I can't actually turn to it. What is that sound? Can we stop? Okay, so I'm actually getting goosebumps right now. Okay, that's a loud sound. It's almost done. What is gonna happen? Are we gonna meet aliens right now? Binary data, okay. Dude, that is terrifying. A radio wave emission from what? 10.08 credits added, signal saved to database. Okay, decoded data. What? You can disable some of the systems like the coordinate detection system, antenna detection system, or even the outdoor lights to decrease the consumption of energy. System efficiency is the most important of all. The higher it is, the better the systems will work. I guess I could turn this off, right? Until I actually see a signal. We have this one. Okay, so what do I do? Oh, okay. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna let it play. It's fine with me. Oh, I can use the laptop. Ooh, connection established database. Upgrade tech or terminal. Aha, so we found our signal. Okay, signal ID one, radio wave emission. Date detected that time, 1050 PM. It's location, frequency, uh, planet, hot Neptune, and the data. I guess I can play it too. Okay, that's cool. Upgrade, oh my lord. We have 20 credits, that's good. Uh, I guess I can't buy any of these because they cost 30 credits. There's modules. What in the world do these things do? Subreflector, better antenna detection capabilities. Okay. Max antenna detection boost plus 25%. That's pretty good. How much you want for that? 15 credits? Okay, let's go back. Let's see what tech is. Fuel, requirement for generator. Electronics, requirement for tracking. Wait, what's tracking? I just saw... Yeah, I saw this. What is that? Does that mean I can have the antenna automatically track it? Okay, this is, uh, this is way too creepy. It was, it was, it was creepy. Well, we know what it is, and it's not aliens, or actually, could it be? What exactly is this? Like, it doesn't say, like, how far away it is, right? Does it? Your charge efficiency has dropped at 50%. Outside the observatory, there are solar- Okay, we gotta go to the solar panels, apparently. Uh, which I guess outside is this way? Yep. Oh my god, we are so alone. <laughs> like, like the universe, too. Oh, we don't need that, right? Oh yeah, there they are. Gigantic solar panels. Okay, so it says every solar panel has a control panel where you can start the cleaning system. Cleaning the solar panels will increase the recharge rate of your systems. F to press. Press F to press on every solar panel. Okay, I guess I'm doing that. Holy crap, these things are huge. That's nuts. And where the hell am I? Why did I decide? I mean, I guess it makes sense. I need like the least amount of obstruction. Okay, so all of them are activated. Wait, it tells me the stats here, right? 89, and this should be, what, complete? 94, and then, there we go. Okay, so about 100%, nice. All right, the solar panels are efficient in sunny days. If it is rainy, and the recharge rate will drop by 30%. If you have the resources, you can compensate by turning on the diesel generator. Generator requires fuel to run. It will increase the recharge rate of the systems with max of 50% when fully upgraded. The base start of the generator is 5%. Okay, but it's not raining. I don't see any clouds coming. Not that it would be super accurate to the weather. I guess we're waiting for another signal, right? Look at these antenna, dude. They are huge. Oh, we can actually go in them too? Wait a second. Oh, we have a top to our building too. And what the hell is this? What is that supposed to be? Boy, oh boy. This is, uh, I'm, I'm creeped out and I don't know why. It's just like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to mess with deep space, dude. Nobody knows what the fuck is going. Maybe, maybe they do. But, ooh, it's an actual code. Public static string. App version. I can't read it. It's going too fast. Okay. Uh, let's see. Help. Okay. So it's pretty much the same as the other one. Exits to exit. There's something wrong with your servers. Wait, what? I was just on the server. Diagnostics. S antenna server four timeout. So I got to go to server four, which I guess would be the fourth one. So one, two, three. If we're three, then that's four. Okay. And I guess we got to go there and reboot, maybe? Okay, so what was it? Reboot? Okay, server connection is okay. So that means everything's fine, right? Do I have to do- can I just control it from the main place? Do I have to go out to each antenna if the antenna's down? Oh, servers can freeze in different conditions, randomly or if temperature increase 
over the max save value. Wait, what? If outside temperatures are higher, the server temperature will increase faster. I'll use a turbo command in the terminal to increase the speed of the cooling fans if necessary. Okay. Oh, is this the generator? Let's go. How do I put fuel in you? Let's not mess with that. Let's just wait for a signal to come in. Oh, let's go to the roof, actually. Let's take a look at the roof. Oh, boy. Why would this be here? You may be asking. But uh, one can assume that it's here because maybe at some point we'll actually come into physical contact uh, or have a sighting of the second kind. Or is that the third kind? I can't remember. It's the second or third kind. We might actually see or interact with the... With some aliens. That would be dope. Yeah, I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like it at all. Hillsdale residence probe area skies in search of UFO traffic reports indicate objects returned. The question of whether there are objects under control of intelligent beings from other planets coming to Earth has been a source of conjecture and bewilderment to scientists and laymen for years. Hmm. Air Force enters mystery of states flying objects. Wow. Hey, there's Einstein. What's up, dude? Uh, there's the moon landing. Uh, there's an alien face. That's cool. Some UFOs should say, like, I want to believe right here. And that's a picture of some dude on a laptop. Wait, there's a code there. I don't know how deep this game goes, but there are a lot of codes. Look at this. 6EQUJ567. All these are circled and it says, wow. These are all pinned up in some weird position. Kind of looks like a flying... No, it looks like a planet? I thought it was a flying saucer sending a beam out, but it actually kind of looks like a planet with a ring. And then there's a code right here. One, three, five, three, two. Oh, God, there's an alien in that picture. It reminds me of one of those, uh, uh, once you see it, you'll shit bricks images from way back in the day. You're, like, looking at this nice, comfy bed, and in, in the very bottom corner, there's this little face. And once you see it, you shit some bricks, dude. I wonder if there's any codes in here. I can't jump. I can kind of read this. I can't zoom in or anything. Oh, I don't have this audio playing. Ooh, okay, so I guess the signal is now gone. Yeah, okay, so nothing's coming in. Oh, I know, it's because I turned it off. Still nothing coming in. Okay. No signals right now. Hey, where are you? Oh! I have a flashlight. Well, how do I use the flashlight? What in the world? I Because it says I have one. Maybe it's like an item I have to use on something else. Uh, diagnostics. Everything's okay. All right, let me see what the other commands are here. Oh, temp check. Ooh, that's getting high. That's pretty high. Yeah, let's, let's turn on turbo. Okay, it says the command will be disabled, is what that's supposed to be, after the server temperature drops. Okay. I'm getting such a strange vibe from this. Is anyone else? This is so weird. So our database is fine. Upgrade. We have 20, but I can't do any of these, I'm pretty sure. I have to find signals in order to be able to get credits to be able to get more stuff. That's nice. But I can increase stuff here, because these are only 15 credits. Or it could buy other things. There's like the tools or tech. Electronics for, for tracking. I don't know what tracking does. Okay, I don't know. But let's look at uh, let's look at upgrading for the modules. Coordinate. Better coordinate detect. Oh, that's what I need, actually. There we go. We installed it. Apply. Coordinate detection 50. Look at that. I don't know if that's good or not. Is that good? Okay, let me go check the temperature again. Uh, temp check. 35. Okay. Everything is in uh, tip-top shape. I guess we're just waiting for a signal. Uh, I guess I can go explore outside a bit. I haven't really looked around. There's a lot of area to cover. Oh, oh look. There's a bench. Signal available. Okay, never mind. We're going in. Ooh. Okay, signal available. Let's go find the... Oh. Right there. There we go. Okay. Um, Turn this on. Boom. Okay, so... Okay, it's not telling me where to go now. Uh, I guess I could just look at the average here. 93.64 for elevation. Okay. There we go. Oh, wait. Whoa! It changed drastically. What the hell? See, that's what I'm thinking it is. There's like a an, a, a, an area that we're detecting it. And within that area is where it is. And I guess we go by the average and then go from there. Am I going to have to manually do all that? That doesn't sound fun at all. I mean, they're staying relatively around the same areas. 92, 67, but it keeps like drastic. How is the average changing that much? Oh no, is it a rolling average of the 10 that are listed here? Oh, that is exactly what it is. Okay, so that's not very helpful at all. How am I actually supposed to know what the minimum was? Oh yeah, look, 
There's the top of the thing. I wonder if I could turn it and look at me. And I could actually see myself. That'd be cool. Okay, well, let us do its thing right now. It was a radio. Yesterday, uh, uh, Joy Crisp told us, I think based on Mike Malin's location, that the base of Mount Sharp was 6.5 kilometers away. You just said 12 kilometers away, well, it, so. It depends on where you're defining the base. Like, is that a real? If you're going. What the hell? Okay. You know, which way you're going. Did a rough calculation in one of the. Oh, uh, it's continuous. Okay, did you just see that? Whoa. No! No! No, 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 no. Uh, I gotta get fuel, right, for the generator? This is gonna suck. I'm gonna run out of power, aren't I? Uh, fuel. I could buy it. Yes. Wait. Oh, no, I don't have any storage? Are you kidding me? I can't store it because I don't have any storage. All right, it's slowly getting up there. I guess I'm screwed, dude. Wait, what does it say here? Yep, it's going down by a lot. Ah, son of a... Ooh. Let me go see outside real quick. This is not okay. This is not okay. It's raining! What the hell am I hearing? It sounds like dogs in the distance barking. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. What the fuck? Okay, I'm getting inside. Screw this noise. Keep those lights off. I don't need them on. Closing all the doors. I don't want these aliens busted in here. So this is not where the signal is. Hmm. So what do I do now? Try some more averages. So 61 is the elevation. Let me, uh, one degrees. Try that. Nope. Okay. I guess what I could do is write all this down, right? Like, I can write down the maximum that I've seen over the whole course. Like, for instance, the max for the azimuth is 141.2899. Uh, and the max so far on the elevation is 88.63379. Uh, and then we'll just let it run for the minimum. Once those cycle out. You know, 135, 74. Okay, so if I keep this, I might be able to, uh... Yeah, this, this, this ought to work. It'll take some time, but it'll work. Okay, so I guess this is a good, a good place. Now I can calculate this myself, which is probably not gonna be accurate at all because I would probably need to average all of them, but the highest and lowest, I could just get the medium of that. So 142, you guys can't see what I'm doing, but I'm calculating it and then dividing it by two. So the AZ should be 93.18. Okay, so go there, I guess. Dang, what the hell? I don't actually understand. Is it supposed to be the medium? Uh, is this what I even, is this what I'm supposed to, am I doing something wrong? Why would it be showing me the average? The average from when it showed me at the first one matched up with the, at least closely to the averages that were being displayed before. This storm is so creepy. Look, it's already 1120. How long is this recording been going on for? 40 minutes already. Good God. <gasps> no! What? It's gone! All right, might as well turn that off, save some power. And let me check my... Maybe something was wrong. Let's see. Of course. Of freaking course. I can guarantee that was causing some problems, wasn't it? We gotta go to number two. Great. Oh, God. Oh. My. Goodness. I don't know. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I, I guess it's, it's not explained at all what we're supposed to be doing. Oh. <gasps> it stopped raining. Yes. What in the hell is going on in here? Why is it so bright? All right, reboot. Diagnostics. Everything's okay. Good. No signals, huh? This sucks. Oh! Signal is ready. All right, let's give this one more go. Oh, there it is. All right, starting with the average 246. I'm just gonna go there. I'm not trying to waste any time here. Perfect. And then, uh, 48. So while I was waiting, I looked and the uh, pinned post from the developer saying how to use this system says you basically just move it towards the average as it's showing and then fine tune it from there. And I don't know exactly how far off the signal can be. I guess the way I just did it would make sense because this is a rolling 10 average. So the average changes like crazy. If I were to keep track of the minimum, the smallest I've ever seen, and then the highest I've ever seen, then I can get a better average between the two. 
because it seems like that's what it's doing itself. That it's not actually calculating all of these together, then averaging them. You know what I mean? But coordinate detection is going crazy up. Is that 55.86 or 0.87? Are you kidding me? Is it raining again? Oh, that's just fantastic. What is that? Okay, I'm seeing reflections on the fences and I don't like it. As cams and the nav cams on MSL. And uh, if you'll bring up the first image here, this, uh, this is the anti-sun image that shows that the- uh, What? Go ahead and bring up the first image. It, I think it's the image, it's the first image in Justin's, in Justin's package. And it's the image, if you look up here at the rover, that we took. Okay, wow. So it's a bunch of space, like podcasts or radio shows. That's pretty cool. Uh, now it's at 260. Yeah, I don't know, man. In the meantime, I'm going to uh, diagnostics this bitch. Okay, everything looks fine. Temp check. 40.2 should be all right. That's not too bad. Oh, I got a little alien on my mug. That coffee must... How is that? Wait, am I actually seeing steam from that? How is that still hot? Do I get credits for like every day I'm, I'm like wasting my life away here or something? I only have five freaking credits. This sucks, dude. All right, so it's there and that's not it. So let's go on azimuth. We'll go down to 44 and then just fine tune our way up. Good God, this is gonna take forever. So 44 to 64, I think. At least the coordinate detection is increasing. I'm assuming as that increases, this will become a tighter thing. Like it's something that we'll be able to find more easily. Okay, so that's not it. Increase by one. Check. Nope. And we'll just keep doing this. I wonder if there's something I'm supposed to be seeing here. You know what I mean? I'm going to go back to 54 and just try that and then cycle through. Maybe there's some something I'm supposed to see. We got it! Yes! What is it? What am I hearing? Okay, it's gonna take a while to download. What in the hell is that? What does it say? Signal available. Okay. Radio wave emission. No, that sounds like signal source is unknown. <laughs> Ugh, God, it's so creepy. I'm nervous. <laughs> I am so nervous. Okay, so it seems like, I don't know. It seems like 254 was the way to go and just cycle through the rest. Okay, yeah, no, that's not. Dude, that is, that's terrifying. Okay. It's getting louder. I'm so freaked out right now. I guess I'm gonna turn this off, we don't need it. I don't want to hear that anymore. That's just, uh, that's not cool. Okay, yeah, it's pitch black out here. I would go, what is that? Oh, it's a vent. Okay. <laughs> I would go and, um, let me go to the roof. While it's picking that up, I kind of want to see, can I see what it's looking at? The rain looks black. Holy crap. Yeah, there's no way we can see anything. I'm sorry, guys. It's so dark. I can't even see it. Okay, how far are we? Almost there. <sighs> yeah, it doesn't show anything on screen. Okay. Oh, hey. Now we can see stuff. Did it stop raining? <sighs> okay, it's on loop. 
Maybe it's a distress signal. I don't know. This is not okay. Oh, there it is, the binary. Oh my god! Wait, see, there's a number on that phone! What the hell? Okay, we got it. 20 credits for that. Okay, I'm just gonna turn you off for now. I see the sink, the sun's coming up, and those are clouds. Is that what that is? Holy crap. Okay, that was, uh... That was way more terrifying than it needed to be, and it seems like it's a normal... Random signals. Okay, so they were just random signals. Okay, two. Radio wave emission. Unknown source. What the hell? Okay, so we were actually kind of off. I guess we didn't need to be that close, which means that's that's good. At least we don't have to worry about trying to get the exact coordinate every single time. Oh boy, that um, that's some nutty stuff right there. All right, temp, check. That's all right. Uh, diagnostics. Everything's okay. Wow, I'm speechless. I don't know what to think of that. I still have this flashlight, and I have no idea what it's for. Efficiency is system efficiency is going down. And I don't know why. Charge efficiency is up. I don't know how to get the system efficiency up. What do I do to do that? I guess I could reboot all of the uh, terminals. Okay, everything looks like it's good. Oh, it's going up now. Wait, what? Rebooting did that or is it because my power's going up? Okay, it's slowly going up. Let me take a look at what upgrades I can buy now. How many credits do I got? Upgrade. 45? Wait, what? A antenna detection range up to 3.3 when using modules. How do you use modules? What? What did I buy? Okay, I bought the coordinate module. How do I activate it? I don't know. I think I might save my, my stuff. Oh, no, wait. No, 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 no. I got to go to tech because I got to get storage, first of all. There we go. We got 10 free slots, which means I can buy some fuel, uh, then I gotta buy this, and then I can buy electronics. Okay, that is did not work out so well, I guess. But I have some fuel and electronics in case I need it. But yeah, I'm gonna pause it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Let me know in the comments section below if you would like to see some more. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to keep up to date with all my latest videos. I love you all, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.